All right, well, I had a couple people ask me about that little hole right there. See, there's like a little notch in there. I've had a couple people ask me, what does that do? Because you got a hole there, then you have a hole that's right there. This one here, this white one, this is for your child lock, so a uh, little child can't open the door by themselves. Now this hole here, let's say your uh, lock mechanism, when you lock the door through the window switch or the key fob, and it doesn't work, let's say this lock mechanism go out, well, you can't lock the door, there's no mechanism here to lock the door here. So what you want to go ahead and do, basically you can take your little flathead screwdriver or your key that you have, if yours is a switch blade, mine's not, but there is a key still on there. So I got me a little flathead screwdriver, I'll go ahead and show you right now that it's unlocked that I can open it up with no problem. So let's say I want to leave, I parked my car in a parking lot and want to leave and this door doesn't work. So you can just take a little flathead screwdriver and you want to twist to the right gently just enough to get it where it moves upwards just like so. Now you'll see that I can't do it so but once when I hit the unlock button I just hit it once I hit it twice though that I can open it up with no problem. So that basically is just a to lock your doors if your lock mechanism quit working. So here I just locked it. Then let's find the switch. You can see that it opens and closes. And you got these on all four doors uh, here just like on the driver's side. You got the little hole here. like that and I don't have the key on me at all you can see it's in the cup holder here and you see I can't do it unless I go and unlock it manually until you hear a little click that's when you want to stop See, I can't open the door. So that's what that little hole does that's on the side of the door. Thanks for watching.